I'm Nikki Schultek, founder of Interest Cell Research Group, here with my co-authors, Dr. Fred Wagshall and Dr. David Hahn, to discuss our publication entitled The Outcomes of Antibiotics in Adults with Difficult-to-Treat Asthma or the Overlap Syndrome. Dr. Wagshall, what gave you the idea to publish these results from your practice? Well, my practice is unique in that we have a 30-year experience in treating asthmatics um, with long-term antibiotics, specifically tetracyclines and macrolides. And our outcomes, as evidenced by emergency room visits, exacerbation rates, hospitalizations, and lack of status asthmaticus have been nothing but short of remarkable. And I'm thrilled that we have an opportunity to leave a medical record for generations to come of a subpopulation that had not been studied uh, previously. Wonderful. And Dr. Hahn, could you walk through our results that we are publishing? Sure, I, I'm happy to and briefly, uh, I want to point out first that the population we studied uh, was unique in the sense that none of the patients would have ever been eligible for the current asthma macrolide trials because of characteristics such as many of them had coexisting COPD and other characteristics. So this is a group that uh, flies under the radar uh, for the most part. We used uh, some rigorous outcome measures, including control, exacerbations, medication use, and quality of life. And uh, in a nutshell, uh, the results confirm what Dr. Wagshaw's clinical experience has been, that many of these patients responded dramatically. In particular, we followed these patients up two years after they started treatment. Uh, on the average, the treatment lasted a year. So there was a significant group of patients who uh, remained well uh, even after stopping their antibiotics for up to a year. Now this, uh, many people believe that macrolides have anti-inflammatory uh, uh, properties, but this kind of treatment response is inconsistent with the idea that the only mechanism is, is inflammation. And so I think uh, the one message is one must consider an antimicrobial mechanism of action as a possible explanation for some of these remarkable findings. Wonderful, thank you. And as we point out in the paper, it is also a call to action to do more research like this to really clarify the situation. Thank you so much.